Hello everyone, this is Visa 15, welcoming you back to another episode. Let's play Star Ocean until the end of time. And uh, we are here in the uh, town of uh, Kirsla. Uh, I think that's uh, how it was pronounced. Um, we do have quite a few things that we are actually going to get here. So, um, there are actually a couple of uh, treasure chests here in town that we can uh, run across. Um, I think it's uh, one of the ones at the upper right. I'm looking for a specific one uh, here first because uh, this item shop uh, has um, weapons and stuff that I'm actually going to be getting. So uh, right now they are the priority over on um, getting items, so... <laughs> and of course, uh, the one thing that's really, uh, I say poor about, uh, this port is, uh, it's got pretty bad controls, so... It's not much of an issue right now, but it will be um, just a little bit from here, so... Okay, we are going to want to pick up one Longhorn, one Falcon, one Fultian, or whatever, one Gauntlet, and one of the Scale Armors, because we will be finding another one not to, uh... Not too far from here, so. And that scale armor I will eventually be giving to fate. And I do not know why um, the gauntlet is more powerful than the mighty gauntlet. Um, it's one of those weird things. Now, um, I don't know if it's an old woman or a little girl or what, but uh, if you go in here and uh, talk to her every once in a while, uh, she will actually have some different things to say. Um, it's not like really important to the storyline or anything, it's just that uh, something that uh, interesting. came out wrong. Something that is interesting. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. Okay, now, from what I have found... Back in there. From what I have found, um... From what I've found, um, there are a couple of uh, storyline elements that we have that could do, but um, right here, uh, this is where Count Voltar lives. Um, we can't do anything here right now, but uh, it's interesting just to know where he is. And this is eventually where we're going to want to be hitting. I see a treasure chest. Alright. Perfect berries, that's awesome. I believe they give 60%. 
Uh, back to your entire group with hit points. Okay, enemies, uh, every once in a while they will uh, drop the uh, jewels for you to get. We have to uh, go talk to this guy first. As far as I know, um, he might not show up when we have to go back here, but uh, might as well get it out of the way, you know. Um, but with the jewels, we can uh, actually sell those, uh, and they're worth, I think, about 602 uh, full each. And we can't get out the uh, way we came in just yet. Um, after the next little cutscene, we'll be able to uh, go through there, but... Okay, and uh, for some. God, don't, um, come on! For some reason, uh, we've got to talk to this guy to uh, actually get the story to go along. Um, I think if we miss him, the uh, old guy, and um, the guy I'm probably going to be ghosting next. Uh, we won't get the uh, cutscene to move the story along, so... Uh, yeah. You were attacked, okay. We, uh, we got the point. I think there's a set of two more chests um, here. Um, there. Uh, where is that? Oh well. Um, we've got to go into one of these two buildings. Because there's a person here who will uh, tell us that he's an ally of nails. So he wants us to act like Speedy Gonzalez and get the heck out of here. Check. Ah, there they are. And more important, bam, 520 gold. This is one of the uh, first areas that you're going to meet up in uh, where you actually have to be considerate of the amount of fold that you have. Eventually, we're gonna want to buy a couple of steamed buns, but uh, 
not too important right now, so... 